In this video I'm going to show you how you can properly connect two power transformers either in series or in parallel for a desired output. For this demonstration I will be using 120 volts. As you can see right here I have a little lamp cord, two wires going through a one amp fuse. This is the hot line coming in and the black over here is the neutral. For this demonstration I'm going to be using these two PC mounted transformers. These were pulled from two identical microwave ovens and they happen to be the exact same manufacturer and the same voltage ratings. The primary is 120 volts and the secondary consists of two separate windings. This is 11 volt and that is a 7 volt. Both of these transformers are wound with the exact same gauge wire on the primary and the exact same gauge wire on the secondary. That is extremely important. The gauge must be the same, the, ex the cores must be the same, and the number of turns must also be the same in order to achieve good results. Once you establish that both are pretty much identical, now I'm going to show you how to connect them in order to achieve double the current. All right, face this towards the camera so it's easier to see. These two pins right here with the space are the 120 volt primary winding. And these two here are the same primary winding. The 11 volt winding are the two on the right. 11 volt there, 7 volt there, 7 volt there. To connect these in parallel, it's very simple. Take the hot line in, which is this with the fuse. Connect that to this side here. You're going to jump from the, you're going to jump from right here. Put this on this side so it's out of the way. And you're going to make sure it goes in the exact same spot. If these are identical, the winding goes in the same direction for both. If they're not identical, then you're going to have a problem because you might have to move this to that side. But we'll talk about that in a minute. As long as they're identical, exact same transformers, you're going to put the jumper to the exact same terminal on the opposite transformer. Now we're going to take the neutral and we're going to connect that there and we're going to jump this side here over to the same pin on that side. Now it's also a very good idea to take out your digital multimeter before you connect all this up even though they are the same make and model, same windings, same wire gauge. Do a resistance reading across the primary windings on both. Make sure they're very close. They should be. And then you want to check also on the secondary, which in this case will be the 11 volts that we're testing. So you would double check both of these. Make sure these are also very close. It doesn't have to be exact but ideally it should be exact as in a toroid but it still will work. If one transformer has a little bit higher reading for the resistance you could just cut the wire off here unwind a few turns until you get the right reading that it matches up pretty close and twist it around the post and solder it back and then there'll be a pretty good match. Now that these are connected in parallel I'm going to plug it in and show you some voltage readings and show you how when you connect this wrong the effects it will have on the output. Alright, I repositioned everything to make it easy for you to see what's going on. Meter set to AC volts. Take one probe of my meters, clamp that on. Take the other probe and clamp that one on. Now I'm going to connect the probe over there and onto this one. Let me lower this down a little bit to a different range of a 20. Alright, so this one's around 14.77 open circuit output. Let's take a look at the other one. It should be fairly close.
you can see this one here is 14.2829 and that one was 14.7879 and these are supposedly the same it just goes to show they can be off slightly ideally you would want it to be as close to the same voltage as possible and you can make that change if you wanted by adjusting the turns by simply removing one of the wires cutting off the tape and pulling off some turns on the higher resistance coil the next thing we're going to do now is you're going to connect them in parallel but it's very important it's done right take these off you want to connect one only on that side and you can gamble on either one but I'm just going to go on this one now you're not going to want to connect these two together until you check with your meter to make sure you have it right now to make sure you connected the secondaries on the right terminals to make this work in parallel the next thing you're going to do is use your digital multimeter and measure the voltage between the remaining pin there and that one the reading you get should be zero volts or very close to it if your transformers are nearly identical in this case even though these are supposedly identical they're still not this one's slightly lower in voltage so the most you should see is the difference between the two so I might get maybe 0.4 volts if I'm on the right one let's try it connect that there All right, as you can see, we're right around 0.5, and that's pretty close to what the difference is between these two transformers, so we're good. If you connected this wire, the black one, to a different pin, and then when you checked the voltage, you saw that you were getting double what you had, so we had 14.8 roughly. If you saw a reading come up of 29 volts between these two connections, you do not want to parallel that pin with that pin you will end up with a 29 volt short circuit so you don't want to do that so we're good right now we're at 0.5 or less so let's take that off since we confirm we're on the right one it's now safe to join these together you now have double the current output at the same voltage by using the two transformers. Now I've left this connected for over an hour and I didn't notice any heating issues so it does work fine. I'm going to take a bulb and move this meter out of the way and let's take the opposite side here. Alright, that's two in parallel let me remove one transformer and you'll see the voltage drop due to a lack of current see the difference when I turn it on it even goes on slower on this is one transformer right now see how slow it goes up now I'm going to put two on much brighter and goes on faster and let's remove one again there you go it dropped so you see how simple it is to join two transformers together to give you twice the output. Just as long as you remember, the most important thing is they must be nearly identical before you do that. Now the next thing I'm going to do is remove this bulb, take it off of the secondary that's doubled up, move that to the side, take this off. Let me put the meter back in position so you can see it again. There we go. I'm going to remove the other jumper that connected the left pins together. Place them back on here. And that one on that one. Now I'm going to show you that if you reverse the two leads, the line in and the neutral, how it changes how the current flows through the winding and it also affects how this goes. So let me put one probe on that and put the other one over here all right so we're back down to the point four now that the meters connected you can see the half a volt or less let me switch them carefully push that there all right 
and I'm showing an overload condition. And look what happened. We didn't touch anything on the secondary side, but just by switching where the line in goes into the primary winding, it now altered how the two are connected together. This parallel connection is now a series connection. Using the secondary terminal on the left, which is the green one, and the white, using those two together would now give you double the output of those two transformers in voltage. So now you have 28.6 volts. Switch this back. And now we're back to the 0 0.48, 0 0.5, the way we originally had it. So it's very important that the line in the 120 volts or 220, whatever you're using, goes into the right spot on the windings. And it's easy to verify using your meter. Let me take this off. And what I'm going to do now is leaving the line in on the left, line in on the left, neutral on the right, neutral on the right. We're going to take the right pin, connect it to the left. Now when you measure between the right pin and the left, you should get a series connection which would yield around 28, 29 volts. Raise that back up. And there you go. Now if you're going to use two transformers in series, make sure they are also very close in size. You do not want a larger transformer which has a higher current output being connected to a smaller transformer of the same voltage with a lower current output. That's not going to work well and you're going to have a lot of problems. Make sure your transformers are as close to identical as possible. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please rate it a thumbs up, subscribe, and post links to this video on other websites and blogs. Also be sure to check out my video playlist as well. Thank you very much.